Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin, the marketing coordinator over here at shoot.edit, and I am so excited that you downloaded our holiday card templates that we created in conjunction with Bay Photo. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take those templates and create personalized holiday cards without needing to use Photoshop. Uh, instead, we're gonna use Photopea, which you can see up on my screen. It's a site that allows you to actually edit Photoshop files uh, pretty easily. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys how to quickly create holiday cards without actually needing to use Photoshop. So as I said, already on my screen, you can see that I'm at photopea.com. From here, I'm gonna show you how you can open up the templates, add in your own images, adjust the text, and export so that you can easily upload your completed card to Bay Photo and order your prints. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your the, the selected template that you wanna use. There's two ways you can go about doing this. One is by going up to File, Open, and Finding the Template. The other option is to go into your Finder window find the PSD file that you would like to open and then drag it directly into Photopea. So that's what I'm gonna do. And before we actually get started in editing this, I recommend installing all of the fonts into Photopea. That way you don't have to worry about it and do it later. So again, I'm gonna go into Finder, go into the fonts. All of these fonts are provided uh, to you when you download our templates. Go ahead and select all of them and just drag them into Photopea. From here, it might take a minute, but it's going to load all of the fonts in that are used for all of the templates. So while this is loading, uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, navigation of Photopea, on the left side we have your toolbar and this is going to allow you to select your text. If you want to move certain things, you can use the arrow. Um, if you want to crop, this is where you're going to do that. On the right side, this is your layers toolbar. This is where you can see side A and B of the template you're using. Example, we're looking at side A right now, and if we click on the little eye icon and click on B, now we're looking at side B of the template. So this is really where you're going to find all of the text that's pre-written and all of the places to put your images. So if we open up side B here, we can see there's the image folder, there's the text folder, and if there was any specific design on this page, there might also be a design folder. So let's work on actually placing an image into this file. What you're gonna do is click on the image folder click down and you can see here that there's two images that are used on this template. And if you want to change, let's say we want to start by changing this left side. If you come over here, you can see this graphic here shows the little gray box on the left side. So that controls the left image. Double click on that thumbnail and it's going to open in a new window. This new window is where you're actually going to place your image. So just like you can open a file in two ways, you can do the same for opening up an image, either doing file open or going into Finder, finding the image you'd like to work with and dragging it into Photopea. So you can see here the image loaded and now we just need to resize it so that it actually fits into uh, the box. This image was taken, all of the images I'm using today were taken by Jimmy Buey. Uh, he has some beautiful, beautiful work. So I'm using his images as an example. So you can crop your image as you like. I'm pretty happy with that. From here, hit the checkbox and that will basically confirm that you're happy with how you placed your image into uh, the box. From here, you want to save your smart object. So go File, Save Smart Object. Once it says that it's been updated, you can close out of this. From here, when you go back into your template, you're going to see that the image has magically appeared. So th I, I love that Photopea is able to do this. I think it's so cool. So you can see now our image is placed. And now I want to go ahead and update the other gray box to have another image. So again, I'm gonna go into my layers panel, 
find the double click and insert image here layer double click the thumbnail and now we have another gray box so I will find the image I'd like to use drag it onto the gray box and again I'm gonna resize it so that I'm happy with how it looks inside that box so we'll kind of center the couple there once I'm happy with the placement I'm gonna hit the check mark and then again go file save smart object then I can close this and boom there we go we have two images into our template so now if I wanted to change any of the text I could I'll show you how to change the text on the other side we'll just keep it the way it is here so that side B I'm pretty happy with how side B looks so from here I'm gonna go work on the other side so click on the little eye icon and now on this one you can see that we have one main image to work with and this has some text and kind of graphic elements so if we click on the little down arrow by side a you can see our text folder our design folder and our image folder we'll start by adding in the image so if i click on image there's the double click and insert image thumbnail i'll double click that and we'll go into finder pick the image we'd like to use and then from here resize it until we're we're happy with the size of it so we'll place this image we'll go like that and hit the check mark and then again we're going to save that smart object and there we have it we have another image placed into the template so that's that's how you insert images and uh, it, let's just say you're uh, you know you want to change this image a little bit you can go ahead and re-click on that thumbnail and then from there you have the ability to move it around you can go and completely find a new image I'm gonna close out of this I'm happy with where it is right now and from here let's work on the text so you click on your text layer and in here you're gonna see all of the different pieces of text that you have to work with so this is fully customizable you can change it to say um, happy new year <clears throat> excuse me so let's go ahead and we'll actually change it to happy new year so I'm gonna find the holidays um, text layer select it and then hit the little text icon on my left toolbar from here I'm gonna highlight holidays and type in my new word which in this case would be new year so now we have it say happy new year pretty simple right oh and always remember to hit the little checkbox that'll confirm that you're happy with your text and maybe maybe I want to move it a little bit you can go ahead and click on the little arrow up here and now I can move it left right up down we'll move it down maybe just slightly and we'll say we're happy with it there and maybe down here where it says from the shoot.edit family uh, maybe this card is from my family so I'm gonna change the text to say from the Cooper family since my last name is Cooper so again I'm gonna find that text layer hit the little T icon on the left toolbar and change shoot.edit to Cooper and there we have it pretty simple um, if I wanted to take it one step further and maybe I want to change the color of from the Cooper family I can highlight all of it and at the top here I can go ahead and pick a new color so let's say I wanted to make it more of a blue tone I can hit OK and there we have it I've changed the color of uh, the text to blue so oh, and anytime you're done go ahead and remember to hit that check mark check mark at the top from there if I wanted to move the design at all maybe I want to move the left leaf a, a little farther away you can go ahead and drag those they're all customizable you can change the colors if you want um, I'm gonna leave the card like this 
and there we have it. So you can see I have my side A and my side B. So again, side A, side B. Once you have your card uh, where you're happy with it, then it's time to export it. To export, you're gonna go up to File, and you're going to do Export As, and then we recommend doing a JPEG. So Export As a JPEG, and you're gonna go ahead and save it, and it's going to automatically export it. And then make sure you export both sides. So this was side B, and then we're gonna to wanna to export side A as well. Export as JPEG, save, and you can see that it's downloaded. If we go ahead, we can even look at it in Finder, and we can see there's the holiday card. So that's how you're going to create holiday cards using Photopea. Again, it's very, very simple. Um, and hopefully this tutorial will help you guys quickly, easily um, make holiday cards. Thanks for watching.